Hello weebs, today I'm going to address one of the most heated debate in the anime community. Not really. Is Sword Art Online Isekai? So Sword Art Online is fantasy anime where the protagonist Kirito is trapped in a VMMORPG. Uh, in other words, the main character is trapped inside of a game. He cannot log out of his world and he has to live inside the virtual world for a very long time. In order for him to escape the world, he has to finish the game. And secondly, Isekai. So Isekai is a subgenre of a fantasy anime which is about the main character transporting, reincarnating or going to a different world. Does this definition match? Well, it depends. Because when we talk about Isekai, there's actually two hidden meanings to it. Not really two hidden meanings, two meanings. The literal meaning and the colloquial meaning yeah, two meanings. So literal meaning is definitely the isekai. Uh, in other words, katapasa. We mean that people that goes to a different world in general. So colloquially, it does fit the description of Sword Art Online where Kirito, the main character, actually was trapped inside another world, even if it's a virtual world. So the people who believe that this is the same definition of isekai or believe that Sword Art Online is an isekai would argue like this. And another example of isekai that I could give is Digimon for example. Because Digimon, you are transported into a digital world. So that count as an isekai as well. Or even anime like Hack or Log Horizon. But what about people who don't agree that isekai is actually, uh, whether Sword Art Online is actually isekai? If you take the literal definition of isekai different world, then obviously Sword Art Online is not. Why? Because they take the physical premise of this world where you have to be physically into a different parallel universe or a different world for it to be an isekai anime. So for example, in Overlord, you can see that Ainz was actually, when he was delved or it went inside the virtual game, he could feel pain. One of the characteristics of an isekai anime is the main character has to feel pain in the other world. So they have to face real consequences. Sword Art Online is super popular and people love people in general really likes to you know talk trash about sword art online as a meme well in fact it is definitely it is the anime that popularized the isekai genre and people tend to is, uh, associate sword art online with isekai because of the fantasy genre that fits both categories at the same time this means that it's easy to get mixed for both of them. Personally, I will label Sword Art Online as pseudo isekai. Without Sword Art Online, isekai wouldn't be as popular as they are right now because it's a typical Naroke genre of isekai. And what I mean by pseudo isekai is it's not physically isekai like other isekai animes because the story is the same as a typical isekai would be, then I do consider it as isekai regardless. So why do I think it's a pseudo isekai? It's not literally an isekai, but the story that it conveys in Sword Art Online arc and especially LSization definitely follows the generic archetype of what an isekai genre is. You can argue that Gungil Online and Elfin Online is not isekai, but Sword Art Online, the first arc and the current arc that we're watching right now, LSization, definitely fits the category of isekai, especially because the fact that Kirito is trapped inside another world without his decision.